Now I'm going to use um, the same angle relationships that we learned on the very last set of notes in order to deal with algebra using those same angle relationships. So all the angles of a triangle have to add up to be 180. So all of these we're going to add together and set them equal to 180. So we need to add all of these x's together. Remember that we take the sign in front of them. So 9x plus 11x plus 5x, that's 25x. Oops. Now we can ignore those. And then we do 3 minus 21 minus 2, which will be negative 20 is equal to 180. Add 20 to both sides, and 25x is equal to 200. Divide both sides by 25, and x is 8. Now we need to find the measures of each of the angles, so you just plug 8 in. So 11 times 8 minus 21, put it in a calculator. Put it in exactly how that looks. You would do 11 times 8 minus 21, and it would give you 67 for F, 67 degrees. Then 5 times 8 minus 2, well, 40 minus 2 is 38. And then you could plug it in for E, or you could subtract both of those angles from 180. It's whichever way, because both ways would work. I usually prefer to subtract from 180, so 180 minus 38 minus 67, and that would give me 75. Same concept, all the angles added together equal 180. You could also combine like terms here, so 4 plus 10 is 14, plus another x is 15x. So you could... Um, Combine like terms from the picture itself. That might be a lot easier for some of you. Negative 22 minus 4 is negative 26. Plus 11 would be negative 15. Again, use a calculator. There's no reason to try to do that in your head. And all those added together are equal to 180. So add 15 to both sides. 15x is equal to 195, divide both sides by 15, and you get 13 for x. And again, we need to plug them in and figure out what all the angle measures are. So for r, that's 13 plus 11, which is 24. And then 4 times 13 minus 22, again, put it in a calculator, and you'll see that it's 30. And then do 180 minus 30 minus 24 for the other one, which is 126. All right, well now we have an external angle. So if you remember, this equals these two added together. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to do 18x minus 15 is equal to, then add both of these together. So... 13x minus 11 plus 4x plus 1. My left side, there's nothing to combine, so I'm just going to rewrite it. But my right side, I have 13 plus 4, which is 17x. And then I have negative 11 plus 1, which would be minus 10. Then subtract 17x from both sides. You get x minus 15 is equal to negative 10. Add 15 to both sides, and x is 5. Then it says find the measure of CAB. In order to figure out what angle it's talking about, play connect the dots. CAB is this angle. So 13 times 5 minus 11, use a calculator, that's 54. And then A, B, C, place connect the dots again. 4 times 5 is 20 plus 1, which makes it 21. And 
ACB is ACB. So remember that this angle here, you just subtract from 180. So ACB is 180 minus 54 minus 21, which is 105. And then you can, because both of these are a linear pair, you can subtract it from 180. So the measure of angle DCB is 180 minus 105, and that's 75 degrees. All right, now they don't give you a picture, um, but it tells you all the angles of a triangle. Remember, all the angles added together equal uh, 180. So I'm going to combine like terms first. x plus 5x is 6x plus another 2x is 8x. Negative 12 minus 27 is negative 39 plus 3 would be negative 36 is equal to 180. All of them added together is equal to 180. Add 36 to both sides. 8x is equal to 216. And then you're going to divide both sides by 8, which makes x 27. And then you have to find all of the angle measures. So my measure of angle P, I'm going to plug it back in. So that's 27 minus 12p, which is 15 degrees. Measure of angle Q is 5 times 27 minus 27, which again, put it in a calculator, you get 108. And then for the measure of angle R, you could plug it in, or you could also do 180 minus 108 minus 15, which is 57. And then again, they give you all the angle measures. You do the same thing. 7x plus 3x is 10x plus another 4x is 14x. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. Minus another 5 is negative 16 is equal to 180. Add 16 to both sides. And you have 14x is equal to 196. Divide both sides by 14. And x is 14. And again, plug in for all of your angles. So 7 times 14 minus 6. That gives you 92 degrees. Measure of angle B is 3 times 14 minus 5. That gives you 37. And then for C, you can do it the easy way where you do 180 minus 92 minus 37, which is 51. And that's the end of our notes.